Hey guys, welcome to the next video on shell scripting tutorial for beginners. In the last video, we have seen how to use for loop in shell scripting. Now in this video, we will see how we can use a for loop with some command and we will see some examples to understand this better. So this is the basic syntax we have seen in the last video. So we use a for keyword and then a command or any uh, variable here. And then we use uh, the keyword in and then after the keyword we give some input in the form of some uh, list or some uh, commands right and then we uh, use do and done keyword and then we uh, use some command to uh, you know uh, execute uh, the item value right which is here okay so let's see how we can use commands here. So we can give the, uh, a list of commands in order to execute them. So for example, I can uh, give ls here and then I can uh, give uh, the pwd for present working directory. And for example, I give the date command to know the date, right? So this is the list of command and these commands will be executed one by one. So first of all, um, the ls command will be executed and then the pwd command will be executed and then the date command will be executed, right? So let's see how uh, this works. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to echo, uh, for example, a line and then uh, I'm going to uh, print the name of the command. So let's print the name of uh, the command first and then we are going to execute the command itself. So how we can execute the command itself? We can execute it without the echo command. So echo command is going to give you the name of the command and then this is going to uh, actually uh, execute that command, okay? So let's run the script and let's see what happens. So I'm going to run my script and this is the output. So the ls command is uh, giving us all these uh, ls command values, right? And then the pwd command is going to give us this output and the date command has given us this output, right? So we can execute a number of, com of commands like this and they will be executed one by one uh, using this method, right? Now let's take some uh, practical example also. So for example, I'm in my home folder right now and then I want to print all the directories which are there in my home folder for example right so let me do ls minus a here and I can see uh, there are some directories here and I want to print all the directories which are there in this folder so I'm going to clear the terminal first of all and then let's write the code so here I can use uh, asterisk and asterisk means here that uh, I want to iterate over each and every file or directory in this uh, directory which I am currently in, right? So asterisk is a wildcard and hopefully you know how it works. And then what I'm going to do is instead of uh, this code in the do and done uh, keyword, we will first of all use the if uh, uh, statement and we will evaluate the value of a command and command is not appropriate keyword here. For example, I will say item here, right? So whatever item is iterated or whatever item we have using uh, this asterisk keyword, then we will evaluate if it's a directory or not. And if it's a directory, then we will print it. So we will use minus D for this and then the name of the item, right? And then we use the keyword uh, then as we do with the if else conditions and then F5 to end the if, right? And in here, we will just echo this uh, directory name, okay? So just write uh, echo and then the name of the item. So what it's going to do, this asterisk command is going to see all the items which are there in this directory. It can be file or it can be a directory name. And then we are checking using this code whether this is a directory or a file. 
and if it's a directory then we will print the name of it okay so let's run the script and let's see what happens when we run the script and you can see it's giving us all the directory names so this is the name of the directory name of the directory name of the directory and then all the name of the directories right now in this output we can also see uh, this warning or error also here and let's see why this error is coming so i'm going to open uh, this uh, directory which is printing uh, this output and i can see there is a file name and this file name has uh, uh, you know the keywords then this file name has a qrt function is the so there are four keywords separated by spaces here right and now our uh, script is confused that these uh, names are separate or uh, these names is the name of one file so for example i will delete this uh, file name and let's run the script once again so let me run it and now it prints all the directories like this okay so let me clear the terminal and for example i just want to uh, print all the files so instead of using minus d i can use um, minus f or choosing all the files and i'm going to run the script once again and now it prints all the files which are there in this directories okay so in this way we can use commands with for loop i hope you have enjoyed this video please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now